What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we unlocked the artifacts on Legend of Mushroom and this is gonna be great because you are gonna have a ton of extra stats using the artifacts. You have a lot of hammers that you get during the previous events in the game and uh, you can use them because you are not gonna have a rush event soon for the artifacts so you can spend all your hammers and get some extra stats. Normally on level 21 I'm gonna unlock the frostbite spear so I'm gonna spend everything right after and you have also a new event in which you can unlock another artifact if you check that one you have 0.25% chance to obtain it and this is the stats you are gonna get global basic attack damage you are gonna get up to 10% more and basic attacks and combos deal an additional 30% AOE damage so basically if you are using an archer this is gonna help you a lot to deal a bit more damage okay you are gonna get a ton of more and you are gonna start doing AOE damage using your basic attacks and that's great even for a warrior I think that's gonna be great for your mage of course it's still some extra damage but the most you are going to deal are going to be based on your skill damage so uh, this is not the thing you want to have on your mage uh, is it worth it to try uh, to get it to get that that artifact you are going to have only 42 coins when you are gonna complete all the quests so you can try your luck but it's not guaranteed to obtain it but someone told me that you can save your coins your mushroom coins for further events we are gonna have in the game and that it's better to wait to save them for maybe two or three weeks in order to acquire a skin that is gonna change many things for you in the future so in fact, my bad, this is not a skin, but this is a mount. And look at what it's gonna give to you. 10% damage resistance and it's gonna as well shorten the duration of all control effects by 30% and so if you are using that in PvP it's gonna give you a huge advantage because you have some stun uh, on the basic attack you can have that and it helps a lot in my opinion in PvP and damage resistance 10% is just insane and as well you're gonna have some extra pal damage by 10% so this is a great mount to have and probably better to obtain that than the hammer we have on the current event but still if you are a spender and if you have some budget if you want to be better than others right now you can still spend some money in the discount box to obtain some extra coins you can pay 110 euros to get 130 coins directly so if you are using up to it and don't forget to use that because you are gonna get some extra cashback on every purchase in game so for example that pack for 110 euros you're gonna get up to 23 euros in cashback if you are using my promo code mushroom as return on the screen at the right I have a video guide in the description below to know how to install and use up to it so feel free to use it or to contact me on discord my ID is also at the right of the video so feel free to contact me if you have any question about it but in my case I'm not a big spender so I'm not gonna spend in that event I'm gonna save my coins because I don't care about that reward for now I'm gonna trust the people who told me that it's better to save your coins for the next event and I'm gonna pull for the mount tell me in the comment below what are you gonna do but I'm still gonna use my hammers to refine my artifacts so let's do some level 3 4 yeah I don't know if I'm gonna reach the 21 because it's increasing by a lot every time you increase that level so 88 now to unlock only the level 6 but at least I'm getting some extra stats 106 134 171 and I can increase only one time that time okay so I'm not even level 10 Still level 9 and this is the extra stats I got and then you have the morph you can unlock that yeah and sufficient item you need to get that in the event in order to uh, unlock that and you are gonna have the stats okay but it's still empty apparently so I need to increase that more in the future so do I get the extra stats or not I think that this is just the skin but you still have the effects so that game has to be considered as a marathon. This is not a sprint. I mean, if you are a big spender, of course you can spend absolutely everything you want, so you are gonna be top one, and that's cool for you if you have the budget. But if you don't have the budget, a big budget, I mean, if you are a low spender or a mid spender, it's probably better to save your resources, and so you are gonna be able to uh, do some to do better for in events in fact because if you have a look you have regularly some rush events such as the prayer rush for example in which we had to spend a lot 
of resources in the statue, in the prayer statue, to acquire some more rewards in it. And look at that. Yeah, this is clearly not achievable. This is a heavy, heavy, heavy spender. This is crazy. To obtain that, you have to buy so many packs. Look at that. This is the amount of points you can get uh, if you are spending 110 euros. So that guy probably spent more than 1,000 euros only on that event. This is crazy. But if you have a look to the rankings, okay, I'm far away because I spend absolutely nothing. But if you have a look to the ranking, if you buy at least one time the pack, then you are gonna get in the top 30 probably. Yeah, I, I can be in the top 30 if I buy a 110 euros pack, uh, but, but I don't want to because this is the first event and I wasn't able to save my resources before, but in the next events, you are gonna be able to save some resources and as well to get better ranks. Tomorrow, for example, we are gonna have another event, another a rush event and for the tech park. So make sure that you are saving all the ore you can for tomorrow, for the next week, in fact, because during one week, we are gonna have an event in which we have to spend a ton of ore. So it doesn't matter if you are not spending your ores today, if you are not unlocking more stuff, uh, you are not gonna be late. At least today, you are gonna uh, waste a bit of progression, but that's just a bit, so it doesn't really matter. In fact, just save everything for tomorrow, spend your ores tomorrow, and then you are gonna have a better rank in the rush event that is coming tomorrow. You can have a look to that. The, the link to access that calendar is in the description of my video and they are posting that on the official Discord announcement channel so make sure that you are in the, the official Discord. So this is what we got the first week and this is what we are going to have the second week. So in my server we are currently on day number 7 and so tomorrow we are going to have the tech rush during one entire week and we are also going to have the mount rush and I wish I knew that before because I I spent all my clock winders uh, two days ago when we unlocked the mounts and so I have none left for that event but don't worry because you are gonna be able apparently to convert some diamonds to buy some extra clock winders so this is what I'm gonna do. I am saving all my diamonds for to prepare for the, uh, that event that is gonna come in two days. If you are curious to know, these are the next weeks. We are gonna have the PAL rush, so make sure that you're gonna save a ton of uh, PALS coupons for that event. The soul rush, I don't know what it is yet because there is nothing about soul for now in the game. So we will gonna, gonna have to wait and see. Then the skill rush in two weeks and the relic rush, I don't know what is relic neither. Oh yes, of course I know what is relic. Of course, these are the relics, so make sure that you are gonna save a lot of uh, relic shards in the future to prepare for that event as well. So guys, that was all for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If it's the case, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Have a nice day and see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Yeah.